Good morning students. Today we will start with depression in freezing point. Now what is freezing point? Freezing temperature? It is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a substance will be same in solid and liquid phase and they are in equilibrium with each other. Yes, it is the temperature at which a liquid starts solidifying. A liquid phase starts into solid state. Graphically, it can be explained by plotting a graph between vapor pressure and a temperature. At point V, for a solvent A, vapor pressure of the solid phase and vapor pressure of the liquid phase, they become equal at point B and the temperature corresponding to this T naught F will be the freezing point of solvent. Similarly, at point E, the vapor pressure of a solution in liquid state will become equal to the vapor pressure of the solid phase and temperature corresponding to it Tf is the freezing point of a solvent. From the graph, it is clear that when a solution is formed, there is a decrease in freezing temperature that is delta Tf. Delta Tf is equal to delta Tf is equal to T naught F minus Tf and this delta Tf is called as depression in freezing point. It is clear that when a solution is formed, the freezing point of a solution that becomes lower. Tf is freezing point of solution. T naught F is the freezing point of solvent. Delta Tf is change in freezing point that is depression in freezing point. At freezing point, vapor pressure of a liquid will become equal to the vapor pressure of solid. Experimentally, it is found that delta Tf is equal to M, where M is molarity. Hence, it is a colligative property because a colligative property is one which depends only upon the concentration of a substance. If we remove the sign of proportionality, delta Tf is equal to Kf into M. If M is equal to 1, then delta Tf is equal to Kf, where Kf is called as molar depression constant or molar cryoscopic constant. And Kf is the depression in freezing point of one molar solution.